In order to get started with model-driven development using XTUML, you will need editor and simulation tools. The place to find these tools is XTUML.org, and here you see the site's homepage. Each of the needed tools has been combined into a comprehensive modeling environment called Bridgepoint. In the Downloads portion of this page, under the Download Bridgepoint header, is a link to a list of available builds for this modeling environment. The list includes both Windows and Linux versions of each build. Community members are able to download any of the versions under the Stable or Nightly Build headings. If you are also a Surface Pro subscriber, then release builds are available to you as well. I'm going to choose a Windows version of the latest stable build. And clicking on the link starts the download. Once completed, a Bridgepoint installation zip file will have been placed in the Downloads folder on your desktop. Using Windows Explorer, navigate to the Downloads folder and select the most recent archive file. The next step is to extract the contents of the zip file to a newly created XTUML folder under the local C drive. Using your right mouse button, click once to show the selection menu and choose Extract All. A destination folder is needed and I will type in C colon slash XTUML. Pressing Enter starts the extraction. Once completed, Bridgepoint is ready to capture your first XTUML model. If you plan to be a frequent user of Bridgepoint and XTUML, it is convenient to have a shortcut available on your desktop. To create that shortcut, move the mouse to an open space on your Windows desktop and press the right mouse button. Next, select New and then Shortcut. The shortcut must execute the batch file named Launcher located in the Eclipse folder under Bridgepoint. I will use Bridgepoint as the name of the shortcut. The final step is to use the familiar Bridgepoint symbol as the icon for my shortcut. This can be set through the property selection and then clicking on Change Icon. Using the browser to navigate to the icon image file under the Bridgepoint folder quickly gives me the path. The installation is now complete and Bridgepoint is ready to be launched.